hi all so today in this video we are going to see about uh, how to make a loop in a process model okay so let's see like how the structure of a loop in process model looks like so uh, you can see here I have made a simple diagram here to know the basics of the loop so see two paths are there first path you can see that it is starting from the start node okay some data is there okay uh, it is setting up the data whatever the data you have and then you have to put a condition there like uh, if certain condition is met then you can go out of the loop and if certain condition is not met then again you can check for the next value wherever you are setting the data so these are some of the important uh, you can say like uh, keywords or you can say like uh, the structure in a loop first of all you have to get set the data get the data wherever it is okay and then you have to check the condition and if that condition is satisfied okay you can go out of the loop if it is not again you can go and check in the data for this one okay so this is how the loop follows now if uh, I hope this is clear so now what we will do here is let's try to uh, make a process model okay and uh, we will begin with a simple example like how does a loop works okay so let me just give it like loop here okay and then we will create a process model okay so as we have seen here the same way we will try to create a simple loop in process model so first of all what we will do here is first of all we have to uh, we have some data here let's suppose right some data is there. then we have to go for the condition okay for the condition we can take an XOR gateway okay and this is out of the loop and if it is not there then again we have to check for the next value like this now let's try to make it a bit of working here so what we will do here is initially we will take some value let's say a uh, value of 50 okay let's say like initial value initial value is something like number integer and the value we will give it is 50 here okay now 50 value is there so initially some from somewhere else some data is coming like a, a PV is coming who has the value of 50 now in this script task what we will do here is we will decrement the value okay we will decrement the value uh, by uh, 10 here okay and here in this XOR node check less than 10 now we will decrement the value till when the value is not less than 10 okay so let's try to put a condition here what we want here we want to check that PV bank initial value is less than 10 or not if it is less than 10 then it should directly go in the end node we are going out of the loop otherwise again we will decrement it by 10 so initially what we have taken initially we have taken a value you can say like initially we have taken a value uh, value is equal to 50 next time we will uh, we will decrement it by 10 again okay now the value becomes 40 again it will go to the XOR but 40 is you can say like 40 is uh, less than 10 or not so it will give like false so again it will decrement the 40 by 10 here and again uh, it, the result will be something as 30 30 is less than 10 so again it will give something as false and it keeps on iterating until we uh, got our value okay so let's try to validate it once huh, it, it isn't fine so now let's try to uh, publish it I have published it and let's try to debug it let's see how many time does it run okay so it is still running here okay now it's still running fine Oh, 667 instances oh fine actually what we have done here is uh, see what this is what happens because see, initially the value was what initially the value was 50 but we didn't put any condition in this decrement I just written the name actually here nothing else I have done and every time the value is 50 is less than only so it is kind of infinite loop as well great we have even seen how to make an infinite loop as well every time the condition was true and by default any loop in Appian in the process model runs for only thousand time see it will only run for the thousand time not nothing after that so if we want to go in the monitoring 
and check the process activity see here it will it will show a symbol like this pause by exception uh, okay by default the process runs for thousand instances only uh, this time we won't make a, an infinite loop because infinite loop is a lot of time means uh, uh, memory consumption is much more so what we will do here is in the initial value now we will decrement by 10 we haven't written the condition there but this time we will put up our condition as well great okay and this time it won't break let's see it okay so i have published my process and i have debugged it let's refresh it here oh see it is so fast now okay so it has see here five instances ha it has triggered means four time it has done as it is and fifth time again it has checked and it went out of the loop let's see our process details once so first of all see what happened initially the value was uh, it was zero then it got changed to 50 because the pv is now 50 then it goes to 40 then it changed to 30 then it changed to 20 then it changed to 10 and 10 is after that it got changed to zero as well because in the condition i have not put equal to so that's why 10 is not uh, equal to 10 something like false it has given again it went back and 10 minus 10 zero it has but zero is less than 10 so it went out of the loop so this is how the loop progressed i hope uh, it was uh, uh, like clear okay so this was about a basic about like how to build a loop in process now let's see a bit more relevant example so this time what we are going to do here is we will create some data in the uh, we will uh, get some data in the database and from the database we will update some value in the database and again we will check for the next data in the database okay so let's try to do it uh, like this so what i want to put here is this data is there set data so it will come from db this data will come from the database okay and we will update our data here okay update update data and we will update our data and when all the data are updated we will have a certain condition there all the data are updated then we just went out of the loop otherwise we'll keep on uh, you know uh, in the loop only so let's try to do it so what we will do here is we will try to create a simple record for that okay okay so what we will do here let's try to create a sample table sample table we have created fine hmm. and in that table we only need one or two fields we will try to add it see with the i am going with the record you know like because uh, record creating table with the record is very easy if we go with cdt then we have to go with cdt then data store and all this here directly it will create the tables not an issue so let's try to go next and see here automatically the metadata is created so what we will add here is few data points we will add here for example let's add some name okay let's add one more value that is nothing but age and let's add one more uh, something as is active is active this one and name is fine is let's put it a number integer and is active we will put it a kind of boolean here rest of the field we won't put the data so if we want it is fine and we can even remove these fields as of oh, sorry sorry i got removed is active only no this doesn't need to get removed and we will put it kind of boolean here fine this data we are not going to put it okay so that's why i'm removing it this metadata fields nothing else fine and let's click on next here let's click on next and let's save our changes okay and let's finish it now you if now we will see that even our table would have been created here okay so let's search here a uh, sample fine so why a sample table is now you can see here is created simple table structure id name is is active is there let's try to insert some data in that okay so name let's put it like john and is is 20 is active we will initially keep uh, false for everybody okay next is like mark age is 22 and let's skip it at this one okay or uh, we can do is here is what let's insert one more row okay james okay 23 and then is active is zero let's click on go so three data we have inserted and every data whatever you are seeing here is is active is false for them 
now what we will do here is every time we will get the data in our database okay and we will update the data in the database and then we will go and check for the next data okay it means that every time we will query the data so before moving to the process model what we what we will do here is we will try to get the data okay query the data so here we will uh, you can say like uh, query record we will do it ysqr and get data get sample data get sample data done okay so this this expression rule will help us to get the sample data okay so here we can write our query record okay or oh, it's been a quite long time since we haven't used anything like query editor let's try like see now it is you can even query with the record type here okay so here we will just put it sample table here fine currently no data is here but this table is correct let's click on okay and what we will do here is we will uh, try to filter our data okay only for is active is equal to false okay so this is the is active and it is equal to false now let's generate a query fine let's test our okay no data is available but actually in the database table few data are available so what happens in the record is you know like a uh, data if you directly update in the database table then record is not synced so you have to manually go and sync the record so see currently you can see a zero rows were sync now if i go back and sync again so see here now three rows are coming but if you write directly in the record then it will automatically get synced no issue in that but from back end if you update it then you have to come and manually sync the record fine so now i have even synced the record let's test it once again and now you can see a three data i'm getting but one time i just need one data only so let me delete this one and that's it only one data i'm getting fine is active is false here now our database is ready so now let's get a process model for that okay so here update uh, you can say sample sample data by loop something like this i have written it now let's try to do it here okay so now let's try to visualize how our process will look like first of all what we need to do first of all we need to get our data in the script task okay get data okay and here we need to call our like how we are getting the data the data is uh, like we are querying the data with the help of this expression rule okay so we will copy it and we will call this expression rule rule bank this one that's it now we have to select a target means process variable so you can create a process variable by here as well so you can see like it is saying new process variable let's create it here let's name it as uh, you can say like uh, sample data and what should the type let's see what is the type written by this it is saying a list of sample table so this sample record one it should be a type of okay so we will keep that type as sample record type y yes fine and that's it done so this data will get here let's try to test it whether it is working fine or not we have one data and let's see exactly see john name is coming and is active is equal to false as of now our next step is what our next step is to update this data with true we want that all the 000 will become true so here we will update okay okay uh, active so set active set you can say like set is active uh, equal to true so here we will set is active is equal to true so let's try to set it here okay now now see in order like you have the data here so there is a for, okay and we want to update a certain index of that value so there is a simple function in appian called update function okay now in the update if you see the argument there is something called as data where is your data that you want to update so my data is in this process variable nice done now it will say like which index you want to update so we want to update which index this index is active 
but this is a record type okay so we can't write directly something like is active it will give error in record type we can't do that we have to write with that table only okay so sample table that field and then is active like this it is written now what is the value that you want to put it there we want to make this value true that's all we want and where we will save it obviously in the sample data only the sample data will get okay let's validate it everything is fine now let's publish it and let's debug it once great so now you can see here it is done so now now see here the data got uh, you know like it is uh, now in true state okay once my data is set to true we will go back in the bar you can say like we can write in our records as well write to records wherever is the data we can easily go back and write in the records here so where is the record here is our record and sample data we will write it done now this data will get written in the records as well after that what we will do here is we will check for the next data because currently three data are available in my database so here we will check okay or what no no not here we will put it again we will go back from the records to the get data part this thing again we will do it let's make it a bit here hmm so again we will go in the right records so that it will get the next data for the record but here what if uh, like you know like all when all these three data is updated is active then there will be no data left then it will you know like it will throw us error like uh, the data might be null or something like this so here we will put a condition here okay so check null okay so something as check null we will do here it will but if it is not able to fetch the data right if data is null or empty okay so null or empty pv bang you can say something as sample data if it is null or empty then directly uh, okay let's try to actually make one more end here as well okay so like this we can connect it to that end node as well but not an issue it looks a bit better fine let's go in this if it is null or empty then we will directly go to the end event but if it is not then again we will go to true that's it we want let's validate it once it is working all fine now okay check null and here we will just add a label as no okay and here we can add a label here as yes that's it done now let's validate it once fine everything is fine now let's publish it and now let's uh, you know like uh, uh, debug it so first of all what it will get first of all it will get the data okay first of all it has got the data and it went to this node only strange let's see like whether some data was active false or not okay let's change the condition a bit if it is null okay I have wrongly put the wrong condition here one minute just a minute we will is uh, is null or empty hmm. so if it is null or empty then it will go to this one okay one more try this will be our final try let's see it huh, fine so now it has checked the null condition and now it will go to the is active true it will write in the records great and again it has gone back and let's refresh it once again okay how many times and now you can see here it has even ended the loop as well let's see how many times it has done four instances okay let's see our database all these were is active zero let's refresh it now everything is one so sometime in our real like projects we need like uh, in morning whatever the data is not updated we want to update that data in the database so this might be you know like one kind of way to update those uh, those kind of data okay and how many times three data were there so three times it has and now if i test my query no data will return because my value is set to false that's why my loop didn't win but if i set to true then i will get data okay so like this we can uh, even test our you can say like a, a, a loop with the help of database example as well okay so that's all for now okay thank you